So as we celebrate Black History Month, we are highlighting leaders shaping our community. UNLV President Dr. Keith E. Whitfield is the first African American to lead one of the most diverse institutions in the U.S. So Rachel Moore sits down with the university president and shares why he says expanding upon the school's diversity is essential to the growth of Southern Nevada. I'm just not your traditional president. I Following tradition wasn't an option for UNLV President Dr. Keith E. Whitfield. Beginning his tenure at the height of the pandemic, Dr. Whitfield is sailing UNLV into a future focusing on community connection, diversity, research, and athletics. We're pointing our ship, that's UNLV, so that somebody looks at UNLV and says, wow, that's a great school. Oh, and they play good sports. As the university's first black captain of that ship, Dr. Whitfield says he serves all of his students and faculty, no matter their ethnicity, harboring no worry of sinking under pressure. Pressure is a perception. Do I know that that exists as an issue? Yes. Do I let it be a pressure that stops me from making decisions that I think are the right decisions? No. Born in Japan to a military airman, Whitfield's father returned to school after serving, earning a degree from the University of Colorado Boulder. The same school Whitfield would complete his postdoctorate. Even his mother showing him the power of an education. She earned her bachelor's degree while Whitfield was in high school. But he says someone else sparked his love for learning. When I graduated from college, did my little walk across stage. One of my grandfathers, he said, he goes, I'm so proud. My heart is about to burst out of my chest. And I think I got the gravity of it, but it actually made me feel like what I achieved was really special. That achievement steering him to many more. Serving as a vice provost at Duke University, then as provost at Wayne State University in Michigan. The first black man to hold these positions. My mother and I had this discussion where I was just saying, oh my gosh, I wish they'd stop calling me the first black president. I said, I know I am. I don't need you to remind me. And she said, oh, Keith, it means something to people. And I thought, yeah. I guess you have to keep that in mind. Especially at one of the most diverse universities in the country. UNLV serves 31,000 students, 67% with a minority ethnic background, and nearly half of those students identify as Hispanic. The university reflecting this diverse student body in its faculty, leadership, and curriculum. That is one of the things that challenges our society today is that we don't understand about people who are different from each other. At the helm of UNLV, Dr. Whitfield hopes to welcome aboard another 9,000 students from across the country and around the world by the year 2030, contributing to Southern Nevada's workforce and economic growth. Companies are going to come in because they're going to say, well, you got that great university and they, they pump people out all the time, great people. So that secures UNLV's footprint in Las Vegas is that we're contributing to economic diversification, we're contributing to the workforce pipeline and participated in all of those things because of what a higher ed institution actually represents. From UNLV, I'm Rachel Moore.